We're back with the author of The Legend of the Christmas Witch, Aubrey Plaza. Now, I want to ask you about, I want to ask you about this, which I'm a little bit jealous of. You got to work with the, be the beautiful and talented I did. Mr. Michael Caine, the legend, in, on, on the Michael movie Caine. Best Sellers. Sure. <laughs> nice lead. Nice prompt. I love him. What was that, ex what was that experience like, to it, work with this man? Well, speaking as Aubrey, it was, um, it was the best. Michael Caine is the best. He's the absolute best. Did he tell you? Because he's an honest-to-God, like, tell you stories about the old days. Oh, kind yeah. Of he loves star. telling stories. He he was a he just he's like a child like it he he's been around forever he's seen it all but he still has this like curiosity and love for being on set he knows everybody's name he's so respectful and sweet he tells stories every day he was an absolute delight and a tremendous actor it must have been like a kind of like a oh yeah like an acting program oh, yes. you were in with oh, him oh yes he taught me a lot okay. Um, we, you know, it was like a road trip comedy, so we were stuck in a car together for, for a while. Um, and, really? uh, oh yeah. <laughs> and he would, he would do stuff like, he'd be like, now, when I'm gonna do my close-up, I, this is a very bad impression, but I'm gonna it's do it anyway. pretty good so far. I'm gonna pretty do good it anyway. so far. When I do my close-up, watch what I do. I'm gonna save this eye for the camera, and this eye for you. I think you should do the same. How do you do that? You're not so, a chameleon. I know. And How I'd do you be like, point your eyes in different Michael, directions. Michael, I'm not doing that. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, I've got two Academy Awards, and you should listen to what I'm saying. He's like, now watch me, darling. This eye for the camera, this eye for you. So he taught me that when the camera's here, so if we were in a movie right now and the camera's here, and you were Michael Caine, you would save that eye for the camera and this eye for me. So can you how try? Do you, no, how do you do that? You're a I think only terrible actor. Can do, that. <laughs> do it to me. I, okay, ready? Yeah. C camera's here. Yeah. One eye for the camera, one eye for me. Yeah. I want a divorce. You can have one. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So I can't stop doing it. But when we when we did it. I didn't understand it, but then I swear to God, it really does work. It's like, he's a very technical actor, and sometimes when we'd be in the car, he'd be like, I don't see the bloody camera everywhere. And I'd be like, Michael, you don't need to see that we're driving in a car. Just look ahead and say the lines. He'd be like, where's the camera? Like, he just really lo loves to play to the lens. Um, One thing I found out, Michael, Michael Caine said after this movie, he said, that will be his last movie, the movie he did with you. Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. Did you break Michael Caine? <laughs> Was there any of this action on set, is what I'm asking. Look, I don't know, I blacked out. But once you, once you experience the best, you gotta wrap it up. You know what I mean? How Why about you? Will you do other movies, or is Michael Caine your last movie, too? I'm done, I retired. Me and Michael are going out together. <laughs> I do what he does now. You're gonna fight crime. Yeah. We'll fight everybody. Let's we'll take everyone down. And f it. Now, last time you were here, which was on Zoom, oh, yeah, I've yeah. not seen you for years in person. Yeah, a lot's happened in the pandemic, huh? Yeah. I dress like this now. <laughs> last time we were here, uh, you talked about doing, uh, we did a segment called Tea at the Plaza. Oh, yeah. Where Aubrey Plaza spills the tea mm -hmm. on her co stars. Oh. And I was wondering whether you would do that for us again here tonight. Oh. All right. Would, All you, like, right. would you like a cup of tea before you spill the tea? What kind of tea is it? I have the slightest idea. It's dandelion tea. It's, is it really? Yeah. How do you know? Because I requested it. So you were playing me Christmas just now. She only drinks dandelion tea with her mother Lutzelfrau in the woods. You'll see that. Do you take you a spot of cream? Book. Sorry, Are you taking any cream right now? No. No, no, okay. Mmm. 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 Mmm, you smell dandelions. Mm. That Ooh. is like drinking grass. Thank you. It's <laughs> just someone mowed a lawn and put that it in a is... pot. There you go. Excellent, excellent Earthy. choice. Excellent choice. Mm. Do, you want, do you want a saucer? Do you want a saucer there? Yes, There you darling. go. Okay, I will give you the name of, of a co star. Oh, God. And you. Spill the tea. All right. No pressure. Spill the tea on Michael Caine. Michael Caine. He is a naughty boy. <laughs> he likes to stick his toes in electrical outfits. Outlets. 
<laughs> Spill the tea on Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart smells like cinnamon and gasoline. And I heard that she secretly wants me to officiate her wedding, but she's too afraid to ask. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Molly Shannon? Okay, Molly Shannon is one of the le most legendary living con artists alive today. And this is not a joke. I just read, I'm, I'm serious. I, I can, just read. So far I can tell. Molly Shannon conned her way into Hollywood and she knows what I'm talking about. Because I just read her autobiography and it is juicy and it is good and it's coming out in April. I'm gonna promote her book. I don't give a <laughs> Her book, her book is really so good. Does she really have a memoir coming out in April? Yes, and it's called Hello Molly. <laughs> and it, it's coming out really? in Really? I'm telling you, it's so good. I cried, I laughed. It's brilliant. Everybody should get it after they get the other, the other one. <laughs> Your book. Yeah. The Christmas Witch. Yeah. The, the other really. one. Well, all of that was scandalous. I know. That's a scandalous revelation, Molly. I know. I mean, not Molly. No, I am Molly. You got me thinking about Molly Shannon. I'm only thinking about Molly Shannon now. I wish I was Molly. And I Spill wish I wrote the tea on book. Aubrey Plaza. What do we not know about Aubrey Plaza? Oh, Aubrey Plaza's boring. She doesn't do anything interesting. She, uh... <laughs> What? Nothing. What am I supposed to say? I don't know. Um, she can play the saxophone, okay? You can play the... She can play the saxophone? You can really play the saxophone? Yeah. Yeah, me, Bill Clinton. Um, Who plays the saxophone better, you or Bill Clinton? Definitely Bill. How long did you play? Just since I was a little kid. And how long did you play? Like long. Like long. Like at Can one time. Can you be time? any more specific? <laughs> no, not one individual song. Oh. How old were you when you started playing? Oh, oh, uh, I don't know. Probably like, you know, fifth grade or something. Okay. You know, I was just in the band or whatever. And then, do you, have you have you kept it up? Yeah, I try, but it's it's a hard instrument to whip out and practice because it really annoys other people. <laughs> so, it's unless not you pr unless you practice, and then it's yeah. quite delightful. Yeah, I practice in the woods sometimes. That's where I get my real work done. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Legend of the Christmas Witch is available November 16th. Aubrey Claus, everybody.